What's up everybody, Tim Conley here, and I wanna share with you the five coaching programs that you should have in your agency. I've been teaching on my channel for, well, almost two years now, that you should have multiple revenue streams in your agency. You should never rely on one type of revenue, whether that's monthly recurring for a service, or if it's just design work, or whatever the thing is you do, it should not be your only one. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a way to add significant revenue, like crazy high margin revenue, into your agency, and your clients are going to love it. So let's check it. Coming in at number five is the guided course. Guided course is slightly different than just straight up training. You're gonna create a course, preferably online, you know, an on-demand training program where your clients and their team can go through that course and then you're going to guide them. You're not gonna train them. There's no additional live training that you're going to teach them additional elements of the course. You're going to uh, be a professor, you're gonna have office hours. About a decade ago, I had finished up working with some uh, how to make money online characters, and I, I'm not gonna you know, divulge who they are, but I help them uh, sell their products. And one of the things that I learned about selling business opportunities is that 95% of them never even open the course. Maybe they would look at the introduction, maybe they go like in the first module or something, and then just never touch the rest of it. They just wouldn't do anything. But they would go on and buy an additional course, they'd go on and buy other courses from other other people, it was really, really kind of sketchy. And I didn't like that. I realized that anyone who's brand spanking new into business needed guidance on how to implement what was in the course. So I created office hours, just like my professors back in college. I needed to have questions answered about the course material and I would go to my professor and I would sit down like, okay, here's what I think is happening am I on track and then have a little feedback, get a conversation going with my professors and then those professors would put me on the right track. I wanted to do the exact same thing for my students way back 10 years ago. The guided course is pretty easy to implement. You just set up a day and time that you're going to provide office hours, usually just once a week. If you've got customers all over the planet, like I did when I got started, I had customers in every time zone, so I had three times on a single day that people could come in and get office hours. But if nearly every one of your customers is within your country, they're gonna be on the same time zone or just an hour or two either direction, you can have one day with one time and that's when they can come in and get their questions answered. If they don't wanna be able to come in live, they can't make that live office hours, well then they can ask questions in a forum. Now I guess I should talk about money since I am saying use this as a new stream of revenue. So with the guided course, what can you charge? Well, you can charge hundreds or thousands of dollars. Let's say you've got an online course that your clients find valuable. They're paying like a thousand dollars for it. You add a guided program with it, you might charge 2,000, 3,000, or even more. In one of my companies, I have a guided program where we charge $10,000 for a guided course, where we have an instructor who guides each of the students to get the most out of the online course. Online courses aren't tailored to someone's specific needs. So when you add a live component, a guided component, you can charge significantly more because it makes the content specific to that client. Number four is topical sprint. A topical sprint is we're going to accomplish one thing 
in a set amount of time. We're gonna work really hard, we're gonna dedicate a lot of time to it, a lot of effort to it, and then we're, it's over. This is a great one to offer to your clients because there's certain things that they would like done, but they don't wanna put a lot of effort in. There's even a thing called a design sprint where you can help them determine what needs to be built and how it should be built and it can be accomplished in a single week. A topical sprint can be a single day, it could be a week, or it could be up to about six weeks. You get above six weeks and then it gets a little dodgy, hard to keep everybody on track and keep them going and keeping them motivated. A friend of mine, Chris Reynolds, for his company, he does a 72 hour productivity sprint with his clients. They come together and they focus for three days on one thing. They're gonna get one thing accomplished in three days and that's it, it's over. So what kind of topics can you have for a topical sprint? Well, like my friend Chris, he's got productivity. That's a great one. Have people focus on developing their productivity skills by making them be productive for a three day period. Let's say you're a designer. What kind of sprint could you do with your clients? Maybe you do brand identity and you sprint with them, guiding them on how to uh, improve their messaging in a certain amount of time. Maybe you guide them on finding a new customer segment. Whatever your expertise is, there's some byproduct of that that you can share with your clients and guide them to find out what kind of topics your clients want Ask them. Ask them what they need help with, what they need guidance with, that they don't necessarily want to pay consulting fees for, that they don't necessarily want to pay you to actually do it for them, but they want to have that built into their business. A topical sprint could be hundreds of dollars, like my friend Chris has a program that's under a thousand dollars, and it can be thousands upon thousands of dollars. I know of a company that charges $40,000 for a single week in their topical sprint. The third one is my favorite, group development. What this means is you get a group of clients together and you're going to guide them on basically what you do. The thing that you're very good at, you're going to guide them to get better at it in their company. So if you're a web designer and you're really good at web design, what are the other elements of web design that you don't touch for your clients? The things that they do or that they're responsible for. You can put all of your clients into this group and guide them over time could be three months, could be as much as 12 months. They could be in this program for as much as 12 months with you. If you've got enough material to guide them where they go from not knowing something very well to being very good at it on the other end. This is a very powerful way of adding additional revenue. It's a great way to put your clients together so that they start sharing ideas with each other so that you don't have to be the sole expert in the room. It's fantastic when your clients start sharing ideas with each other because they get immense value from that. And well, it's high margin. When you've got a group of people paying a decent amount of money each and you've got six of them, 10 of them, 20 of them, or as one of my friends and mentors had 150 in a single group, you make a lot of money with condensed time frames. The person I learned how to run a group development from charged $10,000 at the time for his group development program, $10,000 per person in the group. Over the years, I've run group development programs as low as $10,000, but most of them have been in the $24,000 range, about $2,000 a month to be a part of the program. I know of a few other group development programs that are $36,000, $3,000 a month, and up. I'm about to reopen my group program for agencies. I've been guiding agencies for about five years in a group setting, and it allows those agencies to grow a lot faster. They get access to all my knowledge and experience, and they get access to other peers who have similar experiences, who have tested out certain ideas, and they get to collaborate and grow together. It's a fantastic program, and if you're interested, 
because it's not open just yet, or by the time you watch this sometime in the future, it's probably open. So go to timconley.net forward slash group and get on the waiting list. Coaching program number two is the mastermind. This is my favorite. This is what kicked me off in the whole coaching program anyways. Uh, over a decade ago, I started organizing masterminds and they quickly became paid masterminds where I was a facilitator. I was not the expert in the room. I put together similar types of entrepreneurs, similar types of clients, and then let them talk to each other. I would facilitate their ideas. I would facilitate the discussion so someone couldn't just ramble on and take up all the time so that uh, they stayed on track and they always got value from every single mastermind meeting. This is the important part. So you don't have to be an amazing expert. All you have to be is a good facilitator. Keep the conversation going. Ask really good questions so that people get better ideas, so that they share better ideas with one another. Masterminds are fantastic. You can do them weekly. I don't suggest that. You can do them every other week, which is my favorite because people get enough connection with each other, but it doesn't take up so much of their time that they're not able to get anything done in between meetings. Or if your masterminds are really high level, you can do them quarterly. Once a quarter, you bring everybody in the mastermind together and you facilitate their conversations for a day, maybe two days. And your mastermind clients will get immense value if you facilitate it correctly. You're even able to bring in additional speakers for that kind of mastermind, or you can guide each member so that they can teach a topic at those quarterly sessions. When I first got started with masterminds, I only charged a couple hundred dollars per month per member because you know I was new to it. I didn't really know what to do, but I knew where I was going because I had been taught by someone who charged $15,000 for an annual mastermind membership. So I knew I was going in that direction. There's also some masterminds that I know of that are 25,000 and one that's even $40,000 to be in a mastermind where they're not studying anything. They're not learning anything directly from the person they're buying from. They're just being in the room with other high quality people. That's what they're actually after. And that's where the real value is, is the members, not the person organizing it. Depending on how much your clients already pay you, if you're charging six figures or seven figures for your clients, well then a mastermind should be pretty pricey probably 25,000 and up. But if your clients are really small, well then charge less. Charge enough that it makes it worth your time to put together a mastermind and facilitate it because it's kind of like herding cats. So I'd recommend starting somewhere around $500 a month, maybe $833.33 a month, you know, $10,000 a year or $1,000 a month, depending on the value that your clients believe they'll get from the other members in that mastermind. Okay, coaching program number one. It's number one, not because I like it, but because it's where most people start. And that's one-on-one. -on -one. You've got a client and you can guide that client to some form of success. One that you don't have to do labor for. It's just your knowledge and your experience and you've got a pathway for them and you're gonna share that path. You're gonna share how to go from where they're at to where they wanna be and you're going to uncover things in their business so that they can have additional insights that they would not be able to get on their own. Having you as their coach gives them accountability, it gives them guidance, it gives them support and encouragement, motivation if you will, and people are happy to pay for this. You might be thinking, there's no way I would pay thousands of dollars for a coach or tens of thousands of dollars for a coach, but don't let your uncertainty about what you would do prevent your clients from doing something that they really would do, that something they would be eager to do. They probably want some form of knowledge and guidance that you have that they would be willing to pay for if you could guide them in a structured fashion. I gotta bring this up. For one-on-one -on -one coaching, you have to be an expert. Most of these programs require you to be an expert, well, except the mastermind. You just have to be a good facilitator. 
but all the others require expertise. If you're not an expert, don't coach. Add this into your agency later. If you've already been in business for a while, then you've got expertise and you've got byproducts of that expertise, intellectual property that your clients would love to have. One-on-one -on -one coaching charge a lot. I always say that in an agency, you should be charging at least $25,000 in the course of a year, preferably in a single project with your clients because you're doing custom work. It's work that you're not going to get to reuse on other clients. So you need to charge a significant amount of money. Well, one-on-one -on -one coaching is no different. So I recommend with one-on-one -on -one coaching that it's at least $25,000 for a year, if not much higher. My fee is higher than $25,000 a year to do coaching in a one-on-one -on -one fashion, significantly higher. My time's valuable and I don't want to dedicate my life to growing someone else's business. So it's gotta be worth my time. Hopefully you found this idea of adding coaching into your agency valuable because it is valuable. You really need to start implementing this as soon as you possibly can. And also implement yourself to that like button, subscribe, share, and do all the socials. And you know, it'd be awesome if I saw you in the next video. Oh, if you've been watching my videos to the end, you know what's about to happen. Watch this video right here. It's on workshops. Build a workshop so you get experience guiding people through a course, and that way you can build your coaching. Oh, and subscribe too. All right, and we are done.